everyone. Um, some of you ha may have uh, listened to a live stream where I was playing um, Brian Eno's discrete music uh, 24, for 24 hours or about 24 hours. Um, I, wa I wanted to show how I did that. Um, it was pretty basic. Um, and I can show you how to make it more complex. Uh, well, I, I wanted to keep it kind of true to the original piece, so there wasn't a lot of uh, variation. But I did add variation by um, doing some things with the uh, automation. So first thing, um, really all you, uh, I'm using Reaper, um, and I only programmed one single MIDI note and then copied it. Uh, for 24 hours, which I didn't actually need to do that. I could have just um, looped it for a short period of time, but I just wanted to make sure that it would keep playing. Even though I tested it with loops uh, shorter and it would still just keep playing, but I just wanted to you know, make doubly sure. Uh, so this is what it sounds like. So I'm just going to solo a single channel here and kind of break down what I'm doing. Okay, so right here we have the MIDI arpeggiator uh, from a JS uh, plugin. And I have the rate modulating. And these plugins are a little tricky because they're they're very simple. And I'm not really sure exactly what it means by 0.25 BPM. Does that mean 0.25 is a quarter note if it's 4-4? Four four? Um, I'm kind of assuming that. And the note length, I'm not sure what 2 means. But basically, I'm just going by ear and how, I want, how fast I want it. So I change it accordingly. Um, and so I have the rate modulating between 0.25 and 0.5 BPM and we do that by dragging that parameter and then pushing this button here param and then selecting parameter modulation MIDI link we turn the LFO on and right now it's on random and we can also do a good one for this would be a square so it would just modulate between two um, but I think random actually would be better in this case because uh, then it's more random, uh, which is, I guess, in a way more generative. Um, and that's really the only thing that's modulating here, but you can change it up more by modulating pretty much any of these parameters. You can mod modulate the note length, so you know, it has a shorter sound to it. It doesn't last as long. And you could modulate that like this. I'll uh, show that. And in this case, you probably wouldn't want it to get too low because then it just won't make a sound at all. So you want to drag this uh, bass line over. So basically this is just anything that's going to vary the sound and add um, kind of a human element or I guess even in some ways more than what a human could do because uh, to do this amount of variation in a performance um, and these kind of variations would be would take a lot of concentration and a lot of uh, mental effort. Um, and then we can even modulate the way that it's doing the arpeggiator. So I'm not sure how much that's going to change anything because it's just 3-5-3 three, three back and forth. So. 
and and this is a uh, really it references uh, semitones, and we can refer uh, we can modulate the number of variants. So if we have zero, it's not going to play these at all. Um, if we have one, it's going to do just the note that I programmed, and then three semitones above it. If I do two, it will do three semitones above, then five above, then back to the root note. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we add three, it does three, five, three. Um, and again, that's just related to the semitones removed from the note that you have programmed. And I just have one note programmed. It's the note I want it to start on. And as far as the, the preset or presets, um, I'm using a preset from my After Science preset pack from the legend or for the legend. And I detuned it. Um, I guess it would be 0.4. This is a fine tune. Um, it would be 40 cents. And I think that kind of corresponds to 0.4 semitones. Um, or about, you know, about there would be right for the song. Cause, uh, uh, Eno's song is detuned a little bit. As far as I can tell the, the, uh, the key that it's in is A flat major. Um, so yeah, we can uh, change this up a, a bunch by, you know, changing the speed. And see, we could also modulate this so it'd be constantly changing. And then we can vary this with the velocity and timing human humanizer. As far as I know, these all come with Reaper. I could be wrong, but um, I'll tell you that I basically scoured the internet and added all the reaper scripts and stuff that um were possible through uh sws um and the repack and i did all the repositories that i could added those um but i think these two are uh they come with reaper but i could be wrong um and then the other cool thing about this Let's slow that down. It doesn't seem to be going that slow. I actually am going to program these to change and then I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can use. That's a little too strong, I would say. I don't know why it's going so far that way. Let's see if I center it. Negative. Oh, I was doing the wrong one. Okay, that's why. That makes sense. I don't want it to change that much. Okay, then I'm going to change this one.
Uh, you might be thinking, wow, this sounds really bad, but one of the cool things we can do is there's another plugin. And I think this one might be an added plugin. Although it says a re MIDI control, so it might just come with it. Drag this right before the legend and after the other two. And then snap to scale. And let's do well, let's do A flat major. Or yeah, which would be G sharp major. So now it's snapping to scale, and then you can actually modulate the semitones with this plugin and it will still snap to scale so every note that's playing is in the key of A flat major And if you want to get crazy, you can modulate the key by changing things. And again, these are um, things I've found online. Um, can't remember what it's called, but um, in some forums, there's a, a guy that posted stuff where you can add a bunch of scales. Um, one of my favorites is in the Indian Raga. Chitakarshini, I'm probably butchering that, but. And the cool thing is uh, if you choose uh, MIDI overdub and replace, we can uh, add a new track and then drag this up to be like a child or like make the, this legend track the parent. Um, track then what I'm going to do is copy copy item and then paste in this next whoops let's see and the cool thing let's uh, select all let's change Let's make this to a poly. So we have two different uh, MIDI notes that are driving the legend. We have two different arpeggiators essentially because we have this root note is different. So it's going to react differently to the arpeggiator. Um, but if you want, you probably drag this in there and then maybe change some of the parameters up to maybe behave a little differently. And that will add more randomization. So because this is going to this track, it's still being controlled by this snap to scale. Now let's go back to the uh, major. Now let's see how this sounds in the context of the other instruments that we haven't changed. So yeah, what I just showed you in this uh, track here is basically what I did with the other tracks, uh, but then I, I guess I went a little overboard showing you more stuff, but um, 
That's the basic gist of it though. Um, so, you know, you can get pretty creative with it. Um, yeah, all right. I think that I'll call it good for now. All right, thanks for watching.